this is a video replay on how to drive the Omaha what to do and what not to do it's got a real pretty paint job that's uh, just some of the camouflage you can get if you're accustomed to the Phoenix she'll probably like the Omaha she's uh, configured very similar but uh, she's got a little bit better torpedoes torpedoes can go 5.5 kilometers instead of 5 now with this ship uh, you definitely do not want to be the tip of the spear she does not have the armor if you are going to be the tip of the spear make sure there is somebody with you now uh, what uh, I start out with is uh, asking the other players whether they want to do A and B caps or B and C caps at high tiers um, the uh, players often cooperate a lot better at mid tiers such as this one you see it about half of the time and at low tiers everybody just runs off and does their own thing you'll learn as you go up the tiers that teamwork is really important action stations so she's got an awful lot of guns all around the deck those torpedoes are ones that you are going to use a lot by all means use them and most importantly to learn how to use the islands in this uh, battle I do get blown away and uh, I'm going to show you why and how that happened and the mistake I made notice down uh, on the mini map uh, I am uh, turned quite sharply I'm headed almost due west I don't want to go to B because if I did I would be the tip of the spear and I would get wiped out pretty quick so I'm pushing west knowing that one two three ships are coming with me and that there are some other ships further north than me that should get the attention of the enemy before they spot me I did take a look at what enemy we have and decided on armor piercing. That's the first enemy salvo of the game, and he got me. The ship simply does not have tons of armor. He's already wiped out my steering, set me on fire. So I'm almost to an island on the mini-map. I'm going to get behind that island. And I am going to send some torpedoes down his way. Maybe I'll get lucky. He's out of range, but he's also coming at me full speed ahead, so he's going to close that range. So I got the fire out, got repaired, and once I'm behind that island, the enemy will be looking to shoot somebody else. And that's going to come in real handy. I think I can sneak in a hit through this little valley. Yep. And you're about to see where a five second rudder shift comes in handy. Those were uh, somebody else's torps. Nope, those were my torps. I almost got him. But he's not shooting at me. That's good. And now he's gone. And here's where that rudder shift comes in handy. Didn't have much time. My apologies for the sound and uh, any skipping in the video. Still working on that. Oh, he was just sitting there. So there's quite, there are three enemy ships or two enemy ships on the other side of this island. They're not focusing on me. That suits me fine. But I'm going to go ahead and send some torps down there. Maybe I will get lucky. He's keeping that island between him and me. I'm 
just taking a couple of pot shots at somebody else. Maybe I'll get lucky. And I scored a torpedo hit. Well, that ship that I just hit with the torpedo has got a, just a, a battleship and a cruiser on him. Uh, so, no reason for me to stick around. I'm going to go for a B-cap. Well, maybe I can get a shot off at him. Can I, can I, can I, huh? Nope. So right about here is where I made my big mistake. Two battleships, and I'm a cruiser. Battleships are made to destroy cruisers. Why am I going headfirst into these people? Hmm? They're both shooting at me. You can clearly see they've got all their turrets pointed right at me. This was my mistake. I should never have decided to charge in on these guys. Yeah, they have decided I need to go. And between both of them, I don't have a chance. It's right about now that I realize I'm in serious trouble and I am turning to get the heck out of here. Maybe I can get behind this island. Well, bummer. So the torpedoes you see up there, they are not going to hit. Uh, this uh, the ship, the Omaha, if you uh, play it right, uh, she's uh, going to be a moneymaker for you. Even though I died, I still made silver in this battle. You just have to make sure you are not going to be the tip of the spear. And don't make the mistake of charging into two enemy battleships that have decided you need to go. You'll go. Let's jump ahead a bit in the video and find out why the Omaha can get you into so much trouble if you go broadside to them. Yeah, I still made silver. Still made experience. You get sunk at tier 7, 8, or 9, or 10, you're going to come out of this with negative money. Let's take a look at the armor layout. Wipe out the filters and get down to the nitty gritty of the citadel. Look how much of this citadel is above the waterline and how big it is. It's exposed. It does have some armor, 76 millimeter, and then up top it's got some too. Stacked on top of that, you've got some additional armor, 15 and 13. On top of that, you've got a little more armor, and uh, you've also got plating. So, you can see why this ship is so easy for enemies to sink. It's got a huge citadel, and it's exposed and not very well armored. So keep that in mind when you're playing this ship, and you'll have a great money maker. That's all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and have fun.